What up, in this John's your boy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black. I'm playing a dirt bike game. Now, I got my boy Sets and I got my boy Splash here. We're all on the KTM 450 here at Argentina, and we're just going to give this a good run for its money and see what's up. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and say what's up, little dudes. What's up, what's up, what's up? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, delish. Oh, delish. Oh, delish. I kept it up. Yeah. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content okay. lately. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. We are on the road to 2,600 subs, man. So if you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribe button, you guys are enjoying the content, definitely smash that stuff. But uh, I kind of took this uh, setup off of sets, dude. This guy is going crazy. Look at him go, a little stupid. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. now, so I far, got... yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Just going to try to take it smooth. I don't know what it is. I think second gear almost gets you like... Like 55? Almost. All right, I think okay. third gear gets you like the 60 so quick. I, I have like a hard oh. time. Oh! Yeah, I have, a, I have a hard time OJ and so quick, bro. I do I do lug the 450 a lot whenever I do ride it just because I feel like it makes a lot of bottom end. Then uh, just keep try to keep it smooth. Yeah. Define lu like lugging. Like Auto you, control. You're, like you're saying, uh, saying more like, like third a, gear? Yeah, gear? like a higher gear, lower RPM. Keep it smooth. Yeah, I think the only thing that I can't do is since I have a scuff controller, I have the hair triggers, so I don't have no such thing as like throttle control. So it's like I have to keep clicking, almost like a mouse. So it's already, wait, actually? Yeah, literally, dude. That's literally how I ride, bro. I, I kid you not. And like, I'm scared to go back to my regular controller. I mean, like, I enjoy the paddles uh, under my controller, and I feel like I can easily just buy like a makeshift thing to get paddles. But dude, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's insane to like how I ride like this, and I feel like I've gotten so used to it. Yeah, that's crazy. The mouse triggers. Yeah. There's no way. I I play on the uh, the DualSense Edge controller. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big paddle guy. That's one. That's one thing I wish. I was like, oh man, I just spent two hundred dollars on this controller, and I don't. Yeah. Not really a big fan of the paddles, but yeah, whenever I do play I other agree. games like that, really? I do like the trigger stops. They're pretty sick. I don't know what it is. I, 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 I enjoy it. not taking my hands off the uh, analog sticks. Like I know I could possibly do L1 R1 for like right. shifting. But then again, I, I enjoy having my clutch and maybe my raise hand right there. So that's not bad. Right. Yeah, I play. Uh, I actually play claw. Yeah, so that's what I do. My, my, my pointer finger pretty much hovers over my buttons. Wow. To press them, yeah. My ring finger is on my throttle. Yep. Oh, your ring finger? Yep. That's interesting, dude. I, I use my middle finger for the uh, throttle. Holy cow. Yeah, I think right now it's just I got the I got the whole map down packed. I, I'm just OJing with this power right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just like taking I feel taking smooth it though. Now. Real oh, good. It, it definitely does. It definitely does. I feel like I'm getting bad bounces only because I'm uh, like over like over jumping a lot. But for the most part, this thing has like enough power. And what I have seen, dude, I think this 450 literally out of all of them, I like, can give get the best start on a jump like on the gates. Oh, rip. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did hear you say that. Uh, I don't I think my ideas. biggest thing is I shouldn't even be on the throttle as much. I should just be floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee type, man. <laughs> one thing, yeah. One thing I did notice is like on the 450, I'd feel like I'd be going slower because, you know, the RPMs aren't as high like on a 250. So I'd always like yeah. overshoot stuff trying to feel like I'm trying to go fast. Yeah. I, I feel like the uh, the 450s were, were balanced pretty well in this fast update. Oh, if dude, I'm being I, honest. I enjoy it, yeah. I'm not mad at it. Especially, yeah, especially because, like, now, like, with the right person, like, on a 250 and, like, that kind of stuff in a public lobby, like, you can actually beat a 450 now for the people was, who were yeah, too slow was, to uh, ride a 250. That was yesterday, uh, Chance, LFT. He was on the Kawasaki 450 when I was on the, on the 250 of it, and, dude, I was literally, like, right next to them the whole time if not beating them yeah 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 what is it i was in a lobby with uh aiden and chicken yesterday don't get me wrong those guys are definitely faster than me but i i beat him in like a it was like a five minute race or whatever on uh round three finals Ooh, aiden. Uh, but like it was still like yeah, aiden k bill oh, okay nice 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 but like it was like I, I wasn't like they weren't like tremendously pulling on me like going down the star straight or whatever like it was still like pretty competitive yeah I feel like now that I have taken it a little bit more saucy, like kind of like not being over like aggressive on the bike, it's rolling pretty nice on me now. And I feel like that's kind yeah. of like 
I feel like that's where it's at. It's where it's like, just kind of get on the bike and run it for like a good 10 minutes or so just to feel the power. I feel like just hopping on it you, and you're trying to go Mach 10, it's just not going to get there, dude. Yeah, 100%. Right. Yeah. I just feel a little I rigid. Feel like a good balance. Yeah, it definitely does. It feels wide almost, you know? Yeah, because yeah, compared to the Yamaha, whenever I read that, felt that one felt pretty plush. Felt really skinny. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Going through those bumps it doesn't feel like it maybe handles the best. Yeah, I just seen that like breaking bumps. I feel like I even gotta slow down even more because like I'm already pushing 40 miles per hour and I don't even know it. And I think that's where it's at. I think I have to be like at least 20 miles per hour over those bumps. I don't know. It's a possibility. Yeah. One thing I do need to do. I always uh. I always throw the KX250 and KX450 sound mods over the 250s and 450s. I do not like any other sound mod. This one I don't yeah, have. Yeah. On. I, I shan't. I shan't lie, bro. That's I, that's a very truth. Very true. I, I think I, it. I feel like you got. No, no, you go. All you. I I feel like it. Uh, I feel like the KX250 sound mod definitely like covers the maybe uh, like power band of the bikes better. Yeah. So do you, enjoy actually... a, you enjoy a power mod? I think uh, Seth was telling me something about that. He said like he put a new sound mod on the Honda because apparently you can never hear like when it's lugging like closer to the end. I mean, mm -hmm. to the beginning yeah, of it. it always just it just was always just there. Yeah, I kind of never, never hear when, that. when it was low. I feel like a, a less like a, a lower end like rookie beginner kind of guy. Like they don't really understand that. And mm. you really need that to know like when to shift up or what power band you need to be in in order to get like the maximum of your bike and that's that's pretty crazy so and i still i yeah, still run right. i still run the stock one so i i feel like i need to get <laughs> on that train bro i feel like i feel like it's good i mean even when i like i'm not even kidding i was like dude my lap times are like going down oh. because i'm this is what i'm so comfortable to yeah oops what do you guys i'm like 13 seconds off the freaking pace dude what are you even <laughs> running right now I have no idea. I've been trying to just get used to this bike. 128? I mean, I got 10 seconds under. Yeah, one I, second off world record. <laughs> I feel like I still haven't even ran, like, a, a beautiful lap yet, so I guess I could, like, focus up a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, I like, uh, well. before that finish line, that are you, you're jumping in the... Uh, Help. The yeah, turn. yeah, yeah, I See, I, always, I didn't know you could do that, because I feel like every time I did it, my lap didn't count. So, I didn't, I was like, I just gave up on it. I was like, oh, is this even possible? Really? Yep, I don't know. So you gotta get it like, just right. I tend to like do this thing to where like I shouldn't be whipping, but I whip it. Like that's like a habit mm -hmm. I need to break or like scrub that I don't need to just like send it over. I definitely always like if it's if it's like a moto and I'm trying to stay consistent, I always just at least like sit scrub. Yeah. Sit down at the face. Oh, somebody ran it sideways. <laughs> I feel like I have like a really good balance over this whole damn freaking track and then like i get too greedy <laughs> and that's what kills me like i'm like oh okay i'm too relaxed now and like let me just go for it i need to stop that right it's all technique you know yeah. everybody's settings are different yeah i feel like here soon i might have to do a whole new settings update on myself just to see kind of like touch base with like that like pro riders maybe like a higher higher level of like a thousand just to see like what's my settings to other people that's faster and be like okay maybe i can try that because i know everybody's settings are kind of like accustomed to them Oops. but there's always a little bit something different that you could possibly do i mean i right, feel, right. I, I basically almost ran the same settings the only thing i've really changed ever is just recently i changed uh, i turned off my lean smoothing yeah for the new oems because i feel like i turned better with it off and Really dead zone, or not dead zone, oh, uh, lean gain. Yes. Lean gain. So I actually have my smooth on. I have it like at 60, 60, and then my gain's at... It's at 94... That's 94. 94.7. Yep. Yeah, 94.7. I feel like it's just perfect. And then the smooth, I might have to try that. If if you say it's better on turning, I might have to give that a go. But I, yeah, I, if I changed it better... For factory bikes, I do notice. That's where I like, I suck. Mm. It's because on the factory bikes, the smoothing is definitely better because it's more like the old OEM. Oh, okay. But when I did have smoothing on, I don't, I can't remember. I think I have a picture of it, but I can't remember which one. I only ran one of them smooth. I don't know if it was press or release. Oh. Huh. But I only ran one of them smooth. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm literally like, I feel like I don't want to mess anything up because I feel like I'm riding pretty okay and I'm getting faster without even having to change anything. Oh, right. oh, sets up. I feel like I don't have to change anything 
but like because like i'm i'm learning more as i go and i feel like as soon as i change my settings then that's like kind of where like i'm back at like round zero right i feel like my my biggest thesis on it is like it, somebody can give you their settings and then you're not going to run 100 percent at it at, on your first try because like just like i guess i i said this like on my stream but it's almost like playing a sport like you never run anything like i had 100 percent when you first try to learn something that's why you practice to get better and I think that's the biggest thing. Like I just used cam settings and I feel like I wasn't going 100% and now I feel like I'm at maybe 55, 75 maybe around there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have more to push on these camera settings and I enjoy it. I feel like I've seen myself go faster at a lower FOV now. So it's pretty sick. Right. Right. The camera settings were a big thing. I think for Supercross, I went from like 120 dude and I went down, I saw lens rain like 110. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try 110. 110 was pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've just been running 115 for a while. Yeah, I'm at 115 right now. And it's like, I, I feel like it's I feel like it's a good middle ground. Like, I don't feel like I'm moving at Mach 10 and I don't feel like I'm moving too slow. Yeah, skills ran like 125 for a while. I tried it and I was like, dude, I can't see the roads very well. Yeah, no, I mean, well, once again, I'm 23. Homie's basically still in high school, probably jacked up on G Fuel at the moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he can yeah. he'd probably see everything in 10 mile, like, mile, miles a minute. Me, man, my... My old ass eyes, bro. I can't do that. Mm. Like, I felt like I was insane. Like, I was crazy for even being at 130 for as long as I did. But I definitely seen like I could be moving a little bit better and I could be taking stuff technical because everything comes at you so fast. You don't think about the techni technicality of this game, like the finesse. Yeah. I'm running a uh, 115 right now. Yeah. I just changed my. I I actually run a setting and uh, the files where you override your your lean help. Yeah, basically, and I put it to if you put it to zero, basically allows you to uh, automatic it automatically like snaps back. So you're in like basically full control of the yeah. bike type so thing. So I'm at. So th does it even matter at that point what your lean, like your direct lean is? Cause no, no, because it just overrides it. Oh, OK. So that at that it point, it doesn't even it matter. Completely. Do you like it like that, though, or what? Yeah, I do. I've been playing with it for a long time now, actually. Wow. Um, since back when Hurl used, Hurls used to play the game. Yeah. He actually showed, he right. showed me. Oh, oh, I no. miss Brody. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, I, the settings are huge and so are camera settings. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I definitely think camera settings are more, uh, Prefer preference, I would say. Yeah. But I think a lot of people do. You just do just use the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I get you. Like settings, I ran. I basically ran lenses settings for a while, and then I just over time I just kind of filtered it down to like what I like. Right. I did the exact same lens. thing. I think I think lenses settings are kind of like a really good like yeah. starting point. Base. Like oh uh, yeah, and then like after that, when you start learning the game a little bit more, it's like okay, let me. Let me dip my toes in and see what I can change. Right. He was, uh, I was like, uh, I mean, the smooth riding style is the best for this game, but I was like, it's just a little bit too smooth for yeah. like what I'm, my brain wants to do. Now you see how like he uses his controller and he goes like actually to the bottom. Like, you know how usually like if you're turning, you're going up and to the left and up to the right. Like he does the bottom part. Does any of you guys do that or no? I do. I, I do. Feel, I just yeah. do side to side. Really? Side to side? No, yeah. I do I go, to the I bottom because what it makes it Kind of crazy. When it does, is, I don't know if you know, but like uh, the slower you push it down, like you kind of get that drag in the air of the bars. That's kind of yeah. hard to explain, but basically uh, you get like a, this drag looking effect with the bars in the air. And um, I don't know, it, it, I guess it kind of helps you, I guess, mm -hmm. scrub and like pick where you want to place the bike is a good way to put it. I mean, I'm trying it just a basically, little bit right now, and it's not bad. Like, basically counter-leaning the bike in the air. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad, pimp. No, you're good, you're good. But, hey, thank you guys so much, man. It's been like 15 minutes. We're kind of just rolling at this point. But, dude, sicko mode, splash, sets, man. Thank you guys so much for, like, literally just coming out here riding this two fit, like, yeah, 450. Dude. You guys, like, have any other, yeah, like, gripes and complaints? Or you think, like, this could be, like, a a go-to everyday bike if you got kind of got yeah 100 percent. i've noticed i've oj'd and landed right on the forks and the bike does not get upset at all really yeah it it, it, it likes i don't know it, it just seems to like that lower end as well there's yeah. also something i noticed it likes to pick up 
Yeah, I feel like and it revs it out pretty quick. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, likes no. to grab quickly too at the tires. Yeah, I feel like I enjoy a, a more forgiving bike, especially with the physics in this game. So that's huge. Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. But all right, man. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll definitely move on from here, dude. Easy peasy, just your boy. I'm yeah. Kelso. You guys want to do the honors with me, dude? We'll definitely catch you guys in the absolute next one. Pup, 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 pup. Peace. Peace.